So this is where the calves live at Overview Farms. I think we've got about 19 in here right now, which is a lot. I think we've had about 10 calves born just while I was here. So these pens weren't all full when I got here. And the pen in the corner, it was empty. And we used it at one point to isolate a sick cow because just like people in COVID, when a cow gets sick, um, they need to isolate so they don't pass their illness on to the rest of the herd. And uh, this cow had a little bit of a swollen leg and uh, the vet came and diagnosed her with pneumonia. Um, so we isolated her and gave her antibiotics and some food. And uh, after a couple days, I came in one morning and there she was on the ground. And she didn't get up, she died during the night. So I started my day with a dead cow. But the day got a lot better because at the end of the day, um, I got to see a calf being born. I got to film a calf being born. And it doesn't matter what species they are, there is nothing like seeing life come into this world. You see the calf come out of the cow and take its first breath. The mother licks it. The calf struggles to stand up. This calf stood up really, really quickly, actually. It only took about 10 minutes. So it was a heartwarming way to end the day. And it's, it's just the feeling that you get when you see a newborn, whether it's a cow or a, or a person. Um, you can't help but be affected. Um, so that was my day, a death and a birth. I don't think it's possible to see something being born and not be affected by it. And that was true with me in this calf, um, despite the fact that I, I was just there for its birth. All I did was watch. But I feel like I have a connection with this calf. Um, and I give it a name. His name is Richie. He's here in this pen behind me. And one of the things I got to do with Richie is I got to give him a bottle and teach him how to drink milk. And um, calves are born with an instinct to suck on something. They come out wanting to suck. But they've never been in the outside world. They don't know what to suck on. And so to give them a bottle, you have to give them something to suck on first. And so you have them suck on your two fingers. And it's kind of a strange sensation, but it doesn't hurt. Um, cows don't have teeth on the tops of their mouths, so they just suck on your, on your fingers and then you put the bottle in their mouth, under your fingers, and that's how they get the milk. It can be quite a challenge to get them to finish that first bottle because they get distracted and they turn their head or they get too much milk and they pull back and they're in this outside world. They don't fully have control of their bodies. So it takes some time and sometimes some muscle to get it to finish its uh, bottle, but uh, I guess I kind of feel like a parent after having done that. Um, and not being a parent of any people, that, that's a pretty special feeling for me. So, with a calf being born every three days or so, I heard that. There's a question that comes up. And that question is, Mommy, where do calves come from? And the answer is they come from the semen salesperson. That's right, selling semen is a legitimate dairy industry occupation. And I got to meet a semen salesperson when she came to the farm this week. And she described what she does as kind of like a dating service for cows. And I would argue it's more like an arranged marriage service for cows. But the basic idea is you know what attributes you have in your herd. You know how much milk they give, how strong they are, how resistant to disease they are, whether they fit in your stalls. And she knows what the attributes of the bulls that uh, produce the semen. And so you figure out what attributes you're missing in your herd and you try and buy semen that has those attributes. And so by the end of the visit, Robert bought, let's say, 25 doses of semen, which if things go really, really well, will produce 25 new calves. So now you know where calves come from. And I'll be back next week with more life and death tales from the farm. Uh, you can catch that by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, you can get a bigger picture by uh, following the documentary that I'm making at thehandsthatfeedus.ca or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next week.